What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another banger. Did you sleep? Did you keep? Did you wax? Your, whatever you want to call it. Snicker news, movie news, game news, life news, leaks, skeeks, beaks, treats, leaks, weeks. I don't know. I can't keep competing and keep repeating. You feel what I'm saying? These words are coming out of my mouth right now. But anyways, guys, this week, we have a lot of stuff coming in hand. This whole month, November, we have a banger, Black Friday, such and such, and many more to come. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, man. Let go. I'm going to start this off with a new section now that I've been wanting to do because I like to enjoy you guys in the comments, in the comment section. Maybe I can start doing a legendary comment and then do a dumbest comment of the week or, you know, you know each and every week, legendary comment, dumbest comment, something like that. But this week, I have to do the dumbest comment of the week. Now, the dumbest comment goes out of the week goes out to my boy, Supreme AV. And huge shout out to I Am Suave for the initial comment, but the reply itself, I had to show some words of wisdom too. I am Suave Reads and he actually timestamps it at 618 for the outfit video I did on the Freddy Krueger. He says, really? Thought you would have bought the Freddy Krueger dunks. That would have been dope. And my guy Supreme AV replied and stated, nah, you forgot he's in Hype Beast. He'd never buy that. It just had to be off white. Where we want to dissect this at? Let, let, let's go ahead. First and foremost, my guy, the Blazers cost about $600 compared to the Freddy Cougar SB that's going for $3,500. I am not that much of a hype beast that I'm going to go out my way and buy a pair of Freddy Cougar Dunks for $3,500 for this video. It is a great shoe, don't get me wrong, but it's more of a collector's item. But I believe that the bigger hype beast would have went after the bigger price thing and the more rare thing instead of a pair of just regular off-white Halloween blazer that recently released. And why the f are you calling me a, a hype beast? And your name is Supreme AV. You're automatically stamped and approved with the hype beast signature of the 666 Demon. Leave it alone. Dumbest comment of the week goes to you. And further news, we have games once again. I got to just say, I know I talked about this probably three weeks in a row, leading up to his release and then his initial release last week, Red Dead Redemption 2. I just got to say, guys, I've been having a blast playing that game. Um, you know, I, I, I'm addicted to it, straight up, straight up. One story, I would love for you guys to leave some funny stories down below in the comment section if you had had a funny moment in the game. One for me, I'm going to be really quick because it kind of is more detailed. But I've been going to that saloon in Valentine for about two, three, like a whole bunch of times, just drinking, doing stuff, trying to find people. And I bumped into the mountain man, the dude that wears a raccoon hat. Some of you guys may have seen him. Some of you haven't actually seen him in the video. So I've seen other people. I know other people that have seen him. He has a uh, raccoon hat on. Anyways, he's a number, normal customer in the saloon. He's been drinking, drinking, drinking every day. Really much no problem. But one day I went in there. I've seen him about four times there, different occasions. One day I went in there. He was at the bar, super drunk, super lit. They were telling him, you need to pay, man. You need to get the hell out of here. You need to pay. I went to him. I tried to comfort him. I tried to greet him. Try to be nice to him. He told me to back off. And they were still, you know, still calling ruckus, throwing stuff. And I went and told him again to relax. And he said, they told me to back off real talk this time. And I did it one more time and he swung on me, bro. I mean, I, we were fighting. I beat the shit out of him. It took about 20 minutes just to knock this man out. Once I knocked him out, I took his raccoon hat and left the saloon and had the cops on me. But it was a funny moment. If you bump into the mountain man, there's no he's going to put up a fight. But the raccoon hat is well worth it. In movie news, me and Nikki finally signed up for the AMC Stubbs A-list thing, whatnot. We were on the movie pass boat for quite some time, ten dollars a month for three movies uh, each and every week. Then it changed to three movies a month, and now movie pass has just went to shit, and it's probably gonna die pretty soon. However, with the Stubbs, you pay twenty dollars a month, and you get to see three movies a week, which I think is quite well. That's twenty dollars for. 12 movies a month, and me and Nikki go and see the movies a lot. It hasn't been much going out. We did go see the Nutcracker fourth round, so it was pretty good. The movie was pretty decent. I am waiting though for however for the Grinch. I gotta go check it out. You know, it is what it is. It's a it's a it's a movie in my heart at the end of the day. And um, what's the other movie? Uh, Deadly Beast. The Deadly. What's the name of the damn movie? Fantastic Beast. The Crimes of Grindelwald. Grindelwald. Uh, Creed 2. You know, Robin Hood. It's a lot of stuff. Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. And even, of course, Aquaman. A lot of movies I want to see. So having that is a plus. Check it out. If you got $20 to spare and you like to go see movies, I suggest you guys check it out. But all right, guys, let's get into the meat of the video of the upcoming releases for this week. Lego. Complex Con has just passed this past week, and there was a lot of exclusives that had dropped 
this past weekend, I myself took the nail. I didn't go, but I seen pictures of Jordan 1s not for resale in the yellow and black colorway, which apparently was a complex kind of exclusive Pusha T uh, and Adidas collaboration. I seen a Pharrell and Adidas collaboration. I seen Puma collaborating with Shoe Surgeon and also with Mock. There was tons of sneakers and different exclusives that were dropping around and popping around. Some of them will be coming to our stores. Some of them may not. So we'll just have to see what happens in the next further weeks. Dropping tomorrow, however, is the Jordan 1 PSG is dropping for $160. Me, myself, I'm going to pass on that. I have the five already. It is a nice colorway, but you know, you gotta pick and choose. I feel like for anybody now, I've always stated to you guys, especially recently, how you gotta pick and choose your battle when it comes to sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, for the amount I have, I have to pick and choose. But at this point, I feel like it's more so everybody has to pick and choose because there's each and there's so many shoes that's releasing throughout the week. You can't, you can't keep up. Otherwise, you're gonna be you're gonna be swimming. Your blanket is gonna be a damn pile of shoes, bro. You can't keep up. So pick and choose. For me, it's a pass. Also releasing on the seventh is two different colorways of the Nike Air Deluxe. One being the Habanero Red, yeah, Habanero Red, and I actually like that one more than the other. Retails $160. I like the Air Max Deluxe. Own one pair, the OG original pair. However, I may add some more to the Arsenal down the road. The Habanero pair is definitely dope. The other one is dope as well, but I just prefer the Habanero one more. Two dope colorways, that Guava Ice that released a couple weeks ago. Super dope as well. I'm really into that whole new Air Max Deluxe twist. Futuristic vibes with the old, you know, mixed out with the old and with the new mixture going on. So check them out. Definitely a good shoe to check out if you like Air Maxes in general. And it just has a nice twist to it and a new Futuristic look. I like to know you guys have thoughts and pans down below on those. I like the habanero, but pick and choose. Pick and choose. Apparently on the seventh, the Jordan one not for reselling the black and red is supposed to drop. I know that Wish ATL has stated that they're coming soon. So there's a lot of like coming soon and a lot of dates floating around. I don't know if it's been solidified yet. But let me do a favor for you guys and let me check on Nike sneaker app if there's an official release date. However, this is what I'm seeing on a lot of different other sites. So yeah guys, I looked on Sneaker News and Hypebeast and it's confirmed November 7th is the release of the sneaker. RIP to my grandfather. His birthday is also on the 7th. I know he's watching over me. But uh, also, and you know, stating in other news, I don't, there was no, there was no information from Sneakers app. So, Maybe it's gonna be more so of a boutique release and then the general or worldwide release is coming in the near future, at least for Sneakers app and other sites like that. So stay tuned, but the seventh is the date for a lot of these boutiques to be copping. I know, like I said, Wish ATL may be getting them and a few other stores. So just keep your eyes peeled if you really want those. I think they're dope. Releasing on the seventh also is a parlay and Adidas collaboration on the NMD. I'm, I'm just kind of done with the M NMD right now, especially the parlay collabs. I mean, it's been like 70 different ones. And this is like the first ones that came out, the like baby bluish, blue, whatever color way that dropped, like a really, like navy blue way back in the day. Now it's just, you know, it just keeps going. Keep it, keep it flooding, keep it flooding, keep it flooding. I'm waiting on Adidas. I don't know, I'm looking forward to 2019 for them. I'm not hating on them at the end of the day. I love the brand. I love the stuff they're putting out, but these models, some, I don't know. I don't know. They'll figure it out. They're a billion dollar industry. They'll figure it out. Also, another Ultra Boost with a multicolored tip. I actually have actually seen this one before. I don't know if this is the multicolor also. I know the multicolor usually is in the back, like the multicolor one, the multicolor 2.0, all that. But there's a multicolor uh, Ultra Boost that's dropping on the seventh. That has it around the, on the eighth at my bad. It's around the tip of the shoe. Cool, but pass Rondo. Rondo pass. Keep it moving. November 9th, you shout the capo RIP cap. Um, releasing is the Air Max 97 in three different colorways. A super pass to me, black and gold, black and silver, and what's this last color I'm looking at? It like a white and silver, very similar to the silver bullets. They do look nice. That whole, all three of them look super dope. But it's another just filler. It's a filler shoe, I call it. Like the Nike just throws it out, gives you something to cop, you know, make a little extra money on the side. But we got the bigger releases waiting in the forthcoming couple days that uh, maybe you may forget about and slip your mind, or maybe you may take it to L so you go back and cop those. But they are dope. I'm gonna give it up to them. All three of them are super dope. So thumbs up on that. November 9th, but same thing, recycling bin. It's recycling bin. But the big body that a lot of people are looking out for on the 9th is the Adidas Yeezy 352 Zebra restock. I feel like this is the third restock on this shoe. Super, super, like this is probably my favorite 
uh, Yeezy 350 that dropped. This the colorway, the stripes, whatnot. And Adidas knows that. That's why they're restocking them so many times. But however, me myself, I don't really know if I'm gonna double up. Um, just because, like, I don't care if my original pair gets dirty. I don't even think. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, my original pair really hasn't even gotten dirty at all. I, I love these shoes though. These are the most. These are the best looking 350s in my opinion. Look at that. I mean, they're they're dope. They're dope. So if I was to double up, I didn't even double up on the all white cream. So if I was to double up, it would be these. But if you took them L, I suggest you get your hands on these. You know, I've been saying how the 350s are just, I'm tired of them. However, this one is my favorite. It just pops, makes the panties drop and keeps it flowing. And also on the 9th, Adidas will be dropping collaboration with Undefeated on several different models, but several different models I would pass on. Some of the uh, pure boosts and stuff like that, cool, but keep moving on because there's something that's dropping on the 10th that I want to get to. Let's go. November 10th is the Diamond Supply and Nike SB Low dropping in black and white. We actually, I believe I saw a vault pair drop at ComplexCon. It might have been in ComplexCon uh, exclusive. I do not know. I'm thinking it is though because I don't see it on there unless it's, it's I think that thing was like limited like to 45 pairs or something like that It was some exclusive drop that was going on I don't think we're gonna see that one, but we will see this black and white version. It's super dope The check peels off and reveals the Tiffany dunk colorway the Tiffany colorway on the Nike check me myself I like it. I won't go crazy and jump on it But if it's available for cop, I will jump and I will cop but I'm not gonna stress myself about it. If I miss it, you know, it is what it is. But super dope shoe, the 10th. I believe that Nike has the winner this week with that one. So keep your eyes peeled and uh, keep it ready. And, and in further weeks, I may update this guys on how to cop them, where to cop them, or where they'll be at. So you guys can stay up to date on that because I know a lot of you guys will probably go after that one. On the 10th for Jordan brand, they'll be dropping the Jordan 3 Chlorophyll. And these are cool. They're cool. I actually saw them early. In the year, I mean, a couple months ago, I showed a video about them. Um, I might actually, I'm going to Soul Play today, so I might actually get you guys a little look. However, they're gonna sit or they're gonna die because they're already going for below retail on StockX right now. So there's so many pairs of those that are flooded. They'll hit the uh, outlets, I'm pretty sure, pretty soon and be on sale. Uh, hopefully that Jordan brand is seeing all these shoes go to outlets that they'll drop their damn prices already or they could just keep doing the outlet stuff and I'm, we, you know, we'll just keep eating it up that way. But I mean, every the outlets are are this place to go now. Not the regular. You don't go to Foot Locker. Go to the outlets. That's where the shoes are at, honestly. And also on the tenth and other collaborations with Adidas and Kenfold dropping. Adidas is dropping so many collaborations this month. I mean, it's collab, collab. But that's that's what people wanted to see. You know, what I'm saying the collabs is what is hot right now, at least in the sneaker world. We'll see what 2019 brings. But a Kenfold and Adidas collaboration on the Ultra Boost will be dropping on the tenth. It's cool, but. You know, we gotta pick and choose. That's that's the motto, pick and choose. And on the 11th, the Jordan 4 Singles Day will be dropping alongside with the Jordan 4 Tattoo. Now, I think that this tattoo is actually, uh, oh no, the tattoo is a US release now. I, I thought it was a global, I remember reading earlier, it was like a China, China release or something like that, then global. Now they're saying that it's a US release on the 11th. Hold on. All right, guys. So the Jordan 4 tattoo is supposedly releasing November 11th in the greater China area and then a global release in December. So just keep your eyes peeled if you like those. I myself, I told you guys I don't really like them that much, but they are releasing. And just keep your eyes peeled on Nike on Nike's launch because they may drop. You never know. The singles, however, are dropping on the 11th. They actually, Soul Play actually has those on deck. So I might need to just start banging out some quick videos when I go up there today. I'm gonna do some quick talking videos about a shoe and releasing those out to you. And then if we wanna do reviews or stuff later on, we will. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna shoot those videos for you guys today. Because just giving you guys at least a look and a quick B-roll and we'll just talk about the shoe and keep it at that and stay tuned on that whole part. So that's coming today or tomorrow. Well, throughout the week, we'll get that out ASAP Rocky. And last but not least, honestly, my shoe that I'm looking forward to this month is the Rookie of the Year Jordan 1. The quality looks phenomenal. I've actually seen them in person. They drop on the 17th, but that's for next week. So we'll save a lot of talking on that. However, hopefully your boy will get the pair early for you guys today.
Now guys, we are in the leak section where we talk about upcoming releases that are far further ahead than this this upcoming week or stuff that was leaked information new pictures whatever let's get straight into it and we'll talk more the first leak is the upcoming atmos nike air max 2 light 1994 collection that was displayed at complex con apparently and is set to release next year in 2019 and there's a whole bunch of just nike air plastered on in different colorways it seems like a lot of patent leathers going on in that shoe with atmos anything atmos and nike usually is flizz you know what i'm saying and usually is hyped usually sells out usually hard to get it was displayed at complex con i believe and and, and it was a dope it's a dope looking sticker in my opinion it's a nice uh, spring type of shoe. It's a Takashi 6'9 shoe. It's the Nike Air Max 2 Takashi 6'9, I would call it. So don't be surprised if you see him rocking those pretty soon. But yeah, really dope shoe. We'll see more pictures in the upcoming you know, months, weeks, whatever, and get more of a better look and better thought on this shoe. But however, I myself, I think it's pretty dope. So look forward to it and see more to come and maybe add it to my collection. We'll see. In other news, P.J. Tucker, the sneaker king in the NBA, debuted the Nike Air Fear of God 1 in a game. He played in them, so we got official, you know, looks at him. He was playing in them. He did, you know, uh, I did not see the game, so I won't even say did he did, did he do quite well. I don't, I don't know. But he's playing in the game. He had them on. They looked dope on feet. A lot of people's minds are going to be changing. I never said they were ugly. I never said they were ugly, so remember that because a lot of people's minds are going to be, I mean, yeah, I mean, I just seen them on feet, yeah, all that, nah, fuck that, okay, keep your, keep your head, I did say that price point was on some fucking oxy, oxymoron shit, you know what I'm saying, like, I, nah, I just can't find a way, I don't know, we'll, I don't know, I don't know, anyways guys, the shoe cost too much damn money, but PJ Tucker warm, they look good, I don't know what to say. Official images released by Adidas on the Yeezy, and I almost said Nike, Yeezy 350 V2 Sesame that's releasing on Black Friday. Um, official you know, images are out, now we can see them. I've seen them in person though, so it's pretty much the same. Nice, neutral colorway. I may be passing on that shoe, but it is neutral. I like the gum bottom. Nicole likes them, she wants to get them, so maybe I just oop them to her, you know what I'm saying? So. We'll see how that goes, but yeah, leak images, official images, whatever you want to call it, they're out. Big news for Adidas. They are already going into the vault now to bring back that hype. They are releasing apparently the OG Ultra Boost, the black and purple, the one that started this all. Um, December 1st, I believe, is the date that they're looking to drop this, and the retail's gonna be $200. This is a topic of discussion that we will be talking about in further videos because I wanna know. Is this a sign from Adidas that they are trying to just, they're trying, they're trying their hardest to bring it back, you know what I'm saying? Something that came and gone, and what made it die out? Was it the hype? Was it Kanye? Like, I want to talk about this more in an upcoming video we will talk about, because, you know, like, look at it from a different span. Like, yeah, Jordan does this all the time. Jordan's been doing this, I, mean, I understand, but, I mean, that's like, well, shit, Jordan is dropping the Jordan 11 Concourse this month, you know, this year, so it, it's all similar, but... I feel like that was like so long ago. So when like something comes back out, so like for instance, when they, uh, what, what else can come out that hasn't came out in quite some time? Shit, I don't know, Jordan drops the same shit every goddamn year. They're just as bad. But anyways, the, oh, the Adidas only has a certain amount of models where Jordan has, we ain't gonna see a Concord for another couple years. You feel what I'm saying? So that's how I'm saying compared to once they drop this, like that, now they're gonna be recycling. They are, they already are recycling. So, I don't know. Just, just comment down below what you think. We'll talk more about that later. All right. I don't want to waste your time. Let's, yeah. And last but not least, we get images of the Jordan One and Travis Scott. I left my own personal comments and thoughts on the shoe on the first, uh, first full size run show. And me myself, I'm not a fan of the backwards check. Honestly, if they could just fix the check, I just think the placement is really what throws me off. Um, the shoe, the colorway I like, but this, the check itself, the position, throws me off a lot. So, yeah, we'll see how it turns out at the end of the day, but it throws me off. It throws me off. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this week's releases. November has a lot of hype coming, a lot of heat, a lot of GRs, a lot of hype beast stuff. Call it what you want. Don't be the next stupid ass comment of the week. I love you guys. It's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out.